Hi, and welcome to today's lesson over mole particle conversions. Make sure to have out your notes so that you can follow along. In any reaction we're performing in chemistry, there are going to be huge numbers of particles reacting. So we need a way to count these particles in groups. The unit the mole does this for us. So what does a mole equal? One mole equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. And particles refer to three different things. So the first thing that a particle refers to are atoms. They can also be molecules. Or lastly, they can be formula units. So make sure to add this to your notes. These are three very important conversion factors that we're going to use in our problems very soon. So one mole actually equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms, molecules, and formula units. Now, notice that this number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, is a huge, huge number. It is helpful for us to group a sample of a certain chemical substance into moles because the number is more manageable using the unit mole as opposed to using atoms, molecules, or formula units. It's important to note that moles is abbreviated M-O-L. Do not abbreviate it M-L, that's actually milliliters, or M would be meters. So make sure to use M-O-L when you're abbreviating for moles. So let's try a sample problem together. For example, how many moles of copper are in 1.204 times 10 to the 24th atoms of copper? Okay. Well, first we're going to start with our given. We've taught you dimensional analysis already, so you should know to start with the given. So I'm going to start my problem with 1.204 times 10 to the 24th atoms. And I'm trying to convert to units of moles, right? So I want to end up with moles, and I want to cancel atoms. So because you know dimensional analysis so well, you should know atoms are going to go on the bottom and moles are going to go on the top. Well, here's the issue. What numbers do I fill in there? Well, because now I know that one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms, I can use this conversion factor in my dimensional analysis problem. So one mole goes on top, and 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms is going to go on the bottom. See how I just included the number with the correct unit in my problem. Okay? And you always want to show the canceling of units. So I'm going to show atoms canceling and show that I've ended up with moles on the top. So putting this into my calculator, it just gives me the answer 2. Well, remember from the beginning of the year, we taught you to round to the correct number of sig figs. So in my given, I've got four significant figures. So in my answer, I also need four significant figures. So now I have four significant figures. I want to use the right unit, which is moles of copper. Box your final answer, and you're done. Let's try another sample problem. How many atoms of gold are in 2.5 moles of gold? Again, you're going to start with your given, the 2.5 moles of gold. And this time, I'm trying to convert to atoms. So I know that moles are going to go on the bottom so they can cancel, and atoms will go on the top. Well, again, my conversion factor is that one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. So I'm just going to plug this right into the problem. The 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms are on top this time, and the 1 mole are on bottom. Remember, this all depends on what you're trying to cancel. So since I'm trying to cancel moles, they go on the bottom this time. I put this into my calculator, and I get a large number, which is 1.505 times 10 to the 24th. Again, we have to round to the correct number of sig figs. So in the given, I have two sig figs. So in my answer, I also want two sig figs. So 1.5, those are the two sig figs in front. Zero is not big enough to round this up. So it's 1.5 times 10 to the 24th atoms of gold. 
okay? And a typical mistake that students may make is to forget the exponent. In your calculator, it's not going to look this pretty. It's not going to say 1.505 times 10 to the 24th. This will actually come out as e to 4, and that's exactly what this means. e to 4 means times 10 to the 24th. Your teacher should have taught you this in class, though, so you should be prepared for that. Okay, let's try one more practice problem together. I'm going to let you try the third one on your own. So how many moles of water are in 3.01 times 10 to the 23rd molecules? So we're seeing the unit molecules here instead of atoms, but we know that one mole is also equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. Okay? So I'm going to use this conversion factor again in my problem. So I'm going to start with 3.01 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. And I'm going to convert to moles. So I know that I need molecules on the bottom so that they can cancel. And I want moles on top. And this time I'm abbreviating it M-O-L. So make sure that you do that correctly. Okay? So one mole equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. My units of molecules are going to cancel, and then I'm just going to plug this in my calculator to get an answer. So when I plug this one into my calculator, it's going to give me 0.5 moles as the answer. Well, again, 0.5 is just one sig fig, and my given has three sig figs, so I need to add some zeros. Now I've got three significant figures. So 0.500 moles of water is my final answer. I want you to try this next one on your own. Okay, so the next one reads, how many formula units of sodium chloride are in 0.25 moles of sodium chloride? Please take a minute to pause the video and try it on your own. All right, now that you've tried this problem on your own, let's check it together. You should have recognized at 0.25 moles is your given. So that's what you should have started your problem with, 0.25 moles. And I'm trying to convert to formula units. So moles should go on the bottom, and formula units should go on top. Okay? Now, you should have been able to do this, because we talked about one mole equaling three things, right? It equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Not only atoms, not only molecules, but also this last unit, formula units. So I'm going to go ahead and plug my numbers in. One goes with the mole. And then the 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd goes with the formula units. Plug it into your calculator, and you have a final answer. So the final answer with this one comes out to be 1.505 times 10 to the 23rd. Again, you've got to round correctly to two significant figures. So after rounding, my final answer would be 1.5 times 10 to the 23rd formula units. It's good practice to always put a box around your final answer so that your teacher knows exactly what you intended your answer to be. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Good luck with um, dimensional analysis and converting using moles.